You've got some great questions, Joshua. <laughs> Thank you. In the spirit of uh, being authentic and honest, my plan was to start and stop each question. However, I'm finding that it's more disruptive for me to do that. And so I'm going to rely on what I've talked about in some of my videos in the blue ball. So we're going to keep this going. And Ferris, I want to acknowledge you for your patience as I get through this because I love this conversation I, or I love your answers, love the questions, but I want to keep a more of a healthy flow with you because I'm just enjoying it so much. And the start and stop is just a momentum killer. So I'm going to expose myself a little bit of what I was trying to do behind the scenes and make it easier. But now we're just going to go with the flow and move forward. I'm going to read my questions to you and we're going to have a conversation. So I've already shifted my format five minutes into it, but are you cool with the change, Ferris? I'm cool with the change. You know, it's the old, Mike Tyson. <laughs> it's the old saying, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. That's what Mike Tyson used to say. So, And, it, and you know what? He's right. He's right <laughs> because I've had plans in life and I've gotten punched in the face for those plans. But I'll tell you what, it also is a great way of testing how sure your purpose is and how sure you are of what you're doing. Like how bad do you really want it? Yeah. Those punches in the face, do you want that heavyweight title or do yeah. you want to go down like Spinks? I want the title, so we're going to do this. We're so do this. question number three in 21 questions with Josh yeah. with Berglund. What's the wildest industry-specific challenge you faced and how did you tame it? Well, so a lot of your listeners won't know, I, I've been a strategy consultant for 17 years, so I've done some wild projects in some wild industries, right? Uh, and uh, the one I'm going to pick, funny enough, is pandemic flu, right? But not the pandemic we just had, right? I, in 2008 and 2009, I spent 18 months of my life working on pandemic flu preparedness for the UK government. They said, what if we get hit by a pandemic? We need to be ready. And in 2009, halfway through, we were building the systems swine flu hit the world and they thought this is the pandemic let's launch everything and we told them we haven't even finished building stuff and they're like just launch 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 right so it was such a wild and crazy time and me being an economist by training i was tasked with one other person to work out how do we secure the most vaccine back then in 2009 possible when there's only one company in the world that claims they can make it and such a crazy question to lob at me you know, and this other guy. And um, we had to sit in a room. We had 24 hours. Of we didn't go home that 24 hours. And we designed a war game, uh, Joshua. We designed a war game which uh, played out what happens if we are bidding against other countries around the world for this one supply of vaccine. How do we win that game? And then we played it with senior people in the government. And uh, it was... It's crazy wild. I still remember it now, sat in that room, um, but uh, subsequently even more pressing when what happened sort of uh, 11 years later. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is not – man, see, do I, I have these set questions, and I'm going to ruin my theme of my show because I already have follow-up questions, dadgummit. Yeah. We're sticking to this script, though. 